Good morning and welcome to another panto style vlog. It is, it's just gone nine o'clock. Our call time for tech is 9 a.m. My digs aren't too far from the theater, which means I don't have to get up much earlier than that, which is nice because we also finish at 10 p.m. in the evening. So they're long days at the moment. Um, and it's long days of being in costume all day. Um, and when your costume is a corset, that can get a little bit, um, what's the word, achy. I also have a pair of giant horns on my head as well. Um, and they're not, they're not heavy, but when you've worn them all day, your head can feel a little bit like a weeble wobble. Um, <clears throat> but here we are at the theatre, this is my dressing room. I am surrounded by boxes and boxes of Christmas cards because I'm doing that um, charity fundraiser for the Diana Award. Um, so I've sort of just been getting them done as and when I can whilst in the theatre. Um, because there's also a lot of downtime during tech. It takes quite a while to tech each number. And if it's a number that you're not in, and as the villain, there are a lot of group numbers I'm not in. I have to just sort of make myself a bit scarce. So um, I've been getting that done. Um, what else can I show you in my lovely dressing room? Oh, I got gifted these um, uh, lipsticks and lip pencils. And I was like, oh, I don't usually wear like bright red lipsticks. And then I suddenly remembered that I'm doing panto. So I saved them for now and now I've got the perfect colours to play a villain. So thank you so much Colourpop for sending these over. Um, these are going to be my Caraboss colours. They also gifted me, and we're going back a couple months now, um, some Hocus Pocus 2 themed makeup. And I've got this, this is a, a body highlighter. It's called Find the Book. It's like, you can't really, oh can you see it there? It's, it looks white, but it's got this sort of green shimmer to it. Um, so I'm using that for Panto as well. I think it's a nice little added sparkly touch. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I pick a perfume for every role that I'm in and I wear it for that role whilst I'm on stage, whilst I'm playing that role, so that when I wear it years later, or even a few months later, it takes me straight back to um, that time. Um, and it's amazing how quickly it works. I have a perfume that I was wearing on my first date with Joel and around those sort of first few months of our first relationship. I hadn't worn it for a while because I'd switched to my Grusha perfume and my Panto perfume and I sprayed that one for the first time the other day and I went right back to standing on the train station near his flat and like that exciting like butterflies first moments of a relationship it was lovely it's amazing how quickly scent memory works um but we are now on seven minutes past i don't have my mic yet so i can't actually get changed into my costume but i am going to go to the loo because being in a corset in a massive skirt and two pairs of tights is not convenient when you need a wee so i'm gonna go do that now gang i've been given new horns my old ones look like this. They were lovely, they were lovely, but not as good as these bad boys. <gasps> look at them, aren't they amazing? Proper, proper Maleficent horns, obsessed. Right, up to stage, see you in a minute. I just realized I did that whole spiel about scent memory and then didn't actually tell you what my perfume was for um, Panto, it is this one. I thought it was Olean, like Olean, 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 but no, um, apparently the woman in the shop, uh, she said it was Olien, so whatever it is, it's this one from Diptyque, and it's delightful. Here we go, opening night, it is just about to go 10 o'clock, just fixing some spacing and putting in some like minor changes, then we have a dress run, and then we open in front of an audience tonight and it's so weird because panto so heavily relies on audience participation that i just don't know what to expect like i don't know how loud people are going to boo how long they're going to boo for how long they're going to laugh for there's a water fight halfway through i don't know how long it's going to take to get the audience to calm down after that for the show to then continue just lots of things that rely on audience participation that you just can't rehearse when you're in rehearsals or tech so tonight is when we find out just how much the audience will impact the performance. So it's exciting slash terrifying. This is Della Duck. It's meant to be a swan. But tell me, why do swans have ears? 
Ducks don't have ears either, but it looks more like an angry duck than it does a swan. There's Mr. Ghosty around the back here. The biggest ghost you ever did see. There's something really kind about his face though. I love him so much. I've just been told they're not ready for us, so I'm gonna go pester some people. Can I come in with my camera? Is anyone naked? Would you like me to be? Morning! Morning! Morning. It's opening night here at the Marlow Theatre in Canterbury. <laughs> and you have joined us in the ensemble dressing room. You're here we welcome. are. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, this is Reese. I'm Reese. I am Tom. And that is the ensemble. <laughs> of Sleeping Beauty here at the Marlow Theatre in Canterbury. Get your tickets, we are here until the 8th of January. The 8th of January. Correct. Bye now. That's how you do it. I hate you. All right, get all that information. That's Daniel, we love him. And this, Reese and Tom are the ensemble. Where's James? He's around the corner, I believe. No, he's not. Here we are, Sally and Jenny, Fairy Moonbeam and our lovely Princess Aurora. Princess Aurora. Princess Aurora. Do you want to make some memories now? Let's also, make some memories. This is Ben Roddy. Who do you play? Um, Dame. Weird. What is it? Nurse Nelly. Nurse Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny Nurse Nelly. 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 I'm, I'm the nurse Nelly. Hello. Time to go and get some lunch and all I want right now is a prep Christmas sandwich. So it's going to happen. But I came to my room and this is here from Vocal Zone. Got some lovely tea and some vocal zones. So thank you so much, Vocal Zone, for sending those over. I think there were um, a few more packages that went to the cast, but this was left in my room by whoever. I'm not sure who, but thank you so much. That's going to get me through. Go pick up my wand. So over there in that wing is where Jenny Dale starts, and then you come round here, and that there is where I start, that is the baby's crib, but I curse. Very next day you gave it away, this year. And here is our little camera on the audience where we pick someone to victimise throughout the show. So we've just opened. I've just had my first two entrances. They've just done I'm a Believer. And now we've got the cart routine, which is the wheelbarrow of pun. This year the puns are all musical themed. And, uh, and then I'm on for my next entrance. And uh, the store I worry about the most just because there's big like blocks of just me chatting for ages. And in Panto, Basically, a lot of the characters, when they come on, they sort of say variations of the same thing. So I've got a lot of, you think you can get the better of me, and I will return. Your precious beauty will be no more, and there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop me. So it's remembering which one comes where. It's a bit terrifying. This is the, oh, oh, oh focus, focus, focus. This is the member of the male ensemble who was missing when I went into the room the other day. <laughs> the other day, earlier today, this is Jones. Hey Tim, how are we doing? I look so sweaty, look at In your very lovely villager outfit, which is very nice, very nice. Yeah! Into the schoolroom! It's great. <laughs> so I'm not on now until the end. I've just done my final duet with the gorgeous Jenny Dale. But I want to head up and show you a little bit of the ghost gag because um, as I understand it, the ghost gag, which loads of pantos do, is actually from Dave Lee. Um, I'm actually walking past 
Dave Lee MBE suite here. Well, he'll have to do it again then, won't he? Whoops. That um, is from the Ghost Gag Bench. So basically, in our panto, our dame, which is Nurse Nelly, played by the wonderful Ben Roddy, brings out a bench and he sits on the bench at the front of the stage, sings Ghostbusters, and whilst he's singing Ghostbusters, a ghost will appear behind him. And all the kids say, it's behind you, it's behind you, it's behind you. And he's like, what? Well, and then he looks behind him, the ghost is gone. And he said, are you sure I was there? And everyone goes, yes. And then he says, well, we'll have to sing it again then, won't we? Whoops. And they sing it again and more things appear behind him. And it's famous because of a man called Dave Lee who performed here and started it off in Canterbury. 